Hello everyone, this is Akib Javed. Welcome to you all on Pavli. So guys, in this video, you are going to learn how to extract data from monday.com to Google Sheets automatically. So guys, here I'm going to explain to you how you can automatically extract the data of items you have in monday.com and transfer it to Google Sheets automatically. Right, now you might ask, why would anyone want to do this? And what is the uh, benefit of this? Let us suppose that you are working in a team and you are using monday.com which is a task management and project management application. Okay, so you have created tasks here, you have created boards here and you are add adding items here in the boards, right? So for the record, you want to add the items and the details of the items here in, the, in a spreadsheet that you have created in Google Sheet. So what generally you can do, you have to sort out the, the details of your items from many tasks and projects from monday.com and then you have to manually copy paste the data here in Google Sheet. So this can be very problematic and tiresome. So I have a better way for you. What if I tell you that all the items that you have added here in monday.com application will get automatically transferred and saved here in new rows in this spreadsheet that you have created in Google Sheet. Yes guys, this can happen and to make this happen, I am using a software here called as Pabli Connect. So guys, Pabli Connect is an integration and automation software and it will connect these two applications together such that whatever the items you have added here will get automatically transferred to your Google Sheet. Now, let me give you a demo on my screen of how this automation or connection between monday.com and Google Sheet is going to work in real time. So guys, this is my computer screen and here you can see I am in my monday.com's dashboard. Okay, so here I have created this board lead collection and I have this group here offline leads in which I am uh, adding the leads that I am getting from offline. Okay, so I want to add these leads here and I want the leads that I added here to be transferred automatically in my spreadsheet here as well like this. Okay. So I will show you this. I'm going to generate a new lead here uh, by clicking on this add button. Let me add a new lead. So I have added a new lead here like this on this date. The name is Raghu, the email and the phone number. Okay. So now let's check in our spreadsheet if the same lead get transferred here or not. So you can see a new row is automatically added here in our spreadsheet and the name is Raghu, the email is this, the mobile number and the creation date. Okay, so the data that we have added here in this group in our lead collection board in monday.com, the data of the same person got automatically transferred here in our spreadsheet. So now let me give you the easiest steps possible by which you can also make this automation between monday.com and spreadsheet. So guys, these are the three easy steps by which you can also make this integration or connection between monday.com and Google Sheet. Okay, so step one is connect Pabli Connect to monday.com with the help of webhook URL. So first of all, we are going to open Pabli Connect and connect our monday.com application with the help of webhook URL with Pabli Connect. And step two is collect the data from monday.com in Pabli Connect. Okay. So in second step, we'll create a new lead here in monday.com and collect the data of that person here in Pabli Connect. And step three says send the same data to Google Sheets in a new row. Okay, so finally we are going to send the data of the person we have collected here in Pabli Connect to Google Sheets. Okay, so let's start with our step one and open Pabli Connect. So in your internet browser, you have to type here P-A-B-B-L-Y that is Pabli.com. Okay, so this is the landing page of Pabli. From here, you have to put your cursor on this products icon and click on Pabli Connect. Now you can set up your free Pabli Connect trial account in just two minutes by clicking here on sign up free button. So I have already done this, so I'm going to click on sign in. Okay, now from this all apps section of Pabli, you have to come to Pabli Connect panel and click on access now. And this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So guys, to start working here, you have to create workflows like this. So to create a workflow, you just have to click here on create workflow button. And here you have to give a relevant name to your workflow. So let me fill the name here. 
so i have filled the name as sandmonday.com data to google sheets okay so now click on create here and your workflow will be created like this and here you have you will find these two things the trigger and the action so guys pavli connect work on these two things the trigger says when this happens action says pavli connect do this all right as in our use case the trigger would be a new lead or contact added here in monday.com and the action would be is to send the data of that same person to google sheets okay so first of all click here on this trigger window and choose the application as monday.com okay this one and in this trigger event you have to select for a uh, new item in board option okay and it will generate this url so this is called as a webhook url and by using this we are going to connect public um, public connect with monday.com right so you have to follow these instructions written here to get this done so let me show you you have to copy this uh, webhook url from here then go to uh, your monday.com's dashboard and uh, here you have to select uh, your board this is our board and now you have to click on integrate this integrate button okay and from here you have to click on this integration center okay and from the search bar search for webhooks this is webhooks click on it and here you have to create this uh, when an item is created send a webhook okay so click on add to uh, add to board button okay and you can see we have already pasted a webhook here click on delete so in this webhook url field now we are going to paste this webhook url that we have copied like this okay and then click on connect okay so it is now showing when an item is created send a webhook okay so click on add to board and our webhook is set now right and you can see in public and it started showing like this waiting for the webhooks response so now you have to do a test submission right so this means we have to create a new contact here in monday.com so that we can capture the data of that contact in public connect okay so let me click uh, set, let me create a contact here so i am clicking here on this add option in this offline offline leads group okay so i am typing here a lead from market okay and clicking on add here and now we need to add this date created of uh, creation date of that lead name and all other details but in public connect you can see the data is already captured okay just by adding one uh, field here uh, the data is captured here and it, it it does not capture the the whole data it just collected the data just that we have filled you can see lead from market it not capture the complete data so we need to apply a delay here so that our workflow will run after some time till we fill the data here okay so for that what you have to do is click here on this plus icon okay and from this action step apply delay by pavli okay and now it is asking for how much delay you want to put in workflow so i want to delay it for minutes okay so select from here delay for and in this delay units select minutes and let's say we want we generally fill this data in two to three minutes so let's take it three minutes okay so i have uh, i have filled here three okay so to put so we have selected minutes here and we have put a digit here so it will run after three minutes so click on save and send test request okay so the workflow is delayed for three minutes now what you have to do uh, i am going to recapture the response to show you now we can complete the entries here in our monday.com okay let me add an, uh, other details also so i am adding the date here the name like this rajesh sharma rajesh kumar let's say and the email and the number 
so now we have time till our next step applies okay so i have filled the details here now let's apply the other step here i am going to fetch the complete details that we uh, left here okay so for that what you have to do click here on the section window and from this choose app choose monday.com again okay and then from the section event select this option get an item this one okay then click on connect here and from this window select this add new connection and here we are making the connection again with the help of this api token so you have to fill a token here for that you have to follow these instructions let me show you so you have to go to your monday.com's dashboard and here you have to click on this uh, picture icon like this and here you will find this admin option click on it and from here you will find this api option click on api and here is the personal api token click on copy and paste this api token here in this field in pavli connect like this then click on save okay so you can see our connection is made with monday.com now it is asking to select your board so we have uh, these boards here let me show you okay S start from scratch lead collection and offline surveys so these are the boards i have so i'm going to select this off uh, lead collection board okay and uh, we have this group in my lead collection board offline leads i'm selecting offline leads and uh, item id so here you have to toggle this map button to on okay then erase this and here we are going to map the item id that we have uh, generated in this first tab let me show you so when the uh, webhooks response got captured it created this pulse id you can see okay so we are going to map this pulse id here so whenever the workflow will run after the two, two or three minutes of delay the whole data that we have captured in that time will get captured here okay so in item id click on it and you will find this monday.com option and here you have to map this pulse id okay so now when i click here on save and send test request you will see the remaining data will be captured here like this okay so now it is started showing all the details of the person the email id the phone number and all other things like this okay so now we want to send this person's details into a, our spreadsheet in which i have in my google sheet application for that click here on this action window plus icon and another action window will open up and from this choose app choose the application as google sheets And from this action event, you have to uh, click on add new row option, then click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection and then click on connect with Google Sheets. Okay, so here it will ask for the email ID by which this sheet is connected. So select that email ID, then give the required access to add a new row, click on continue. Okay, so you can see our authorization is successful here and started showing connected now it is asking for us to select the spreadsheet so guys this is my spreadsheet named as monday so you'll find all the spreadsheets i have created in my google sheet application from here select your spreadsheet that you want to connect after this you have to select the sheet in your spreadsheet so i have this offline leads sheet select this from here like this and here you have to map the details required to fill the uh, fill a row here right so it is asking name so click on it and click on this second uh, this monday.com get an item option and here you will find all the details so let me show you this is the name map it email id okay click on get an item monday.com and you will find this email id like this mobile number also from the same place so this is the mobile number and the creation date as well okay so the creation date is this okay you can see so map this creation date 
like this, right? Now, when I click here on save and send test request, you will see the data that we have filled here will be or get will be transferred automatically here in this row, right? So I am clicking here, and you can see it started showing this type of response. Now let's check in our spreadsheet and you can see a new row is added here with the same details Rajesh Kumar email ID for mobile number and the creation date right so connection with Google sheet is working fine now let me give you a quick recap what we have done here so first of all in this trigger uh, window I have selected monday.com and with the help of this URL we connected monday.com okay and when I tried to do a test submission and as I clicked on add here and give the line, uh, give the items name, the data of that items need get transferred here quickly and captured here in like this. Okay. But there are other things we need to fill also that such as date, the name and the email. So, but the data is captured here quickly. So we applied a delay here so that the workflow will stop for three minutes till we add other details also. And after that, we are going to capture the response like this. Okay. From monday.com get an item, right? So, uh, after applying the delay, we filled the details, the other details, then we applied monday.com. Okay. So to capture the remaining data by mapping this e pulse ID. Okay. So what will happen in real time? when you uh, when you start filling here it will the your workflow will start executing okay so first it will capture the data of the items name like this then the workflow will stop for three minutes it will wait for three minutes till you complete filling the details here after that the other step will run and captures your data like this okay that's why we have applied these steps then finally we have connected google sheets application to send the details to our spreadsheet we selected the sheet and mapped the details to send in our sheet and when i click here on save and send test request you have seen the data get automatically added here right so the workflow is completed just click on save and now we are going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect trial account and start using it instantly so guys, this is it for today's video. If you want any other type of integration, you can contact us at admin at the redpebbly.com. You can ask your queries and discuss it from this forum and check the pricing of this software from this link. And guys, as we did today, you can make many different type of integration using many different softwares by Pebbly Connect and automate your business with Pebbly Connect. So guys, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for watching this video.